Hey guys, Bill Jordan here. I'm at 201-790-3368. I do candid video interviews. If you're a painter, a sculptor, or a candlestick maker, this is where you need to be. People buy from people they know. The best way for them to know you is with my candid video interview. It resonates with them on the soul level. That's where it all takes place. That's the subconscious level. That's where we live. Somebody wants an interview, excuse me. I'll stay with you because I love you right now. I'm showing you some love. Right? And once it resonates with them on the soul level, that they take you in. They want to make you part of their family, of their collective consciousness. That's what I mean by their family. So you understand, you have to understand what, see, if you understand what you're really doing, you understand why you got to call me. And the reason why, in part, you don't understand why you haven't called me because you don't know what you're doing. So in other words, what does it mean to be an artist? Well, I know you make pretty things, you make a pretty little pen. Oh, is that beautiful? Oh, yes, yes. I use so many different colors. We're going to get into colors in a minute, but the deal is, guys, it's an, an artist, you know, it, 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 I checked the etymology of it, and of course, this is a, a short shrift, but it comes from some word in Latin, artium. And, you know, it was during the, the Renaissance ages, the Middle Ages. It's a guy who is a craftsman, artisan, right? And they had a high level of skill. They're craftsmen, really. That's what they are. But now they become artists. We don't talk about them in terms of being a craftsperson, like a furniture maker. He's an artist, but we don't say that. He's just a furniture maker. He's a cabinet maker, right? But those guys are good, man. The chisels and everything, Ooh, man, they bad, right? You know they're good. Now, but it's a concept. Now, the, the cabinet maker, he's a function. He, he, he makes stuff that serves a function, and he embellishes that stuff to a certain level. You could have, like, uh, forgot those particular religious guys, you know, they, their furniture is just basic. There's no ornamentation in their furniture. It's basic stuff, but good stuff. It's solid. Do you have a guy, maybe a French guy, he, he, he does, uh, you know, a cabinet, but he puts some type of floral pattern in there. He embellishes it. He gives it a flavor, you see? So that requires another level of skill, right? But the thing is, it's about something in the consciousness of the society at large. Because these images that you, that you, that you craft, that you make, that you produce, that you come out, they use part of the, part of the collective unconsciousness. And you're thinking that you are some important person, <laughs> that you did this. No, you're just coming from the, from the big stuff. Like, for example, even these guys going to the, uh, uh, to these big, whatever show you go to, I'll, I'll say that later. Whatever show you go to, let's say it's, you say you go into a show where they have horses or cows or pigs or whatever you got going on. That's a reflection of the particular consciousness of mankind. And it doesn't make it any better than the other. But how it relates to you, if you're one of those guys, if you're a plain air painter, if you're a representational painter, if you're an abstract painter, that's just the way to keep people, you know, separated. You know what I'm saying? From the fact that it's all in your mind. If somebody's doing it, it's okay. It's because that's where we are. It's part of the collective unconsciousness, right? Now, I think that you can go back and check with Joseph Campbell about that, or he even go back and check, you know, before him, there was uh, a man young, Carl Jung. He was talking about that stuff. He went around the globe and found out all these different dreams people had, and he realized that all the dreams were the same. It's part of the collective unconsciousness. That's why when you tell the candidate you interview, you tell your story, it gets them on that level. That's what it's all about, guys. This is no... No weird stuff. This is documented by your scientist, the guys that you hold up to be, you know, revered, you know, in that field. You know, and, and if you don't know, I know you know Sigmund Freud, the coke fiend. <laughs> I know you know him, right? But actually, it called Jung, Jung was superior to him. Just that, you know, uh, my man Sigmund Freud hooked up with his nephew, uh, Edward Barnays, and they did a public relations thing to make Sigmund Freud more noticeable. He got attention, and that's what I'm saying to you. You need attention. It doesn't matter how good you are. Young was better, but Sigmund Freud got the what? Attention. That means he got 
the what? The notoriety. He's, he's now the guy that people go to. And Hume is considered less, less, less. But that's the real stuff. So from Jung, we get, you know, we go down to um, Joseph Campbell. From there, we can go to Star Wars. And we can go to you. And you have, whatever you're doing, whether you're abstractionist, whether you're realist or whatever, it all comes from the collective unconsciousness of the human, of the human consciousness. So one form is that any better than the other. It's just a different manifestation of that. Some people are able to, to appreciate the panorama of that. Other people are focused on just one expression as if that's the holy grail. Well, nothing wrong with that. You know, that's what you like, but you know, it's really not being too you man <laughs> or too you woman. <laughs> but anyway, that's why you want to call me up because by telling the story, it's just a natural thing as part of your history. And I know you're thinking because you're a visual artist, you're telling the story, but you're not. That's only half the story. And I don't want to burden you down with too much stuff right now because I know you have a busy day. You're very busy all of a sudden, you know, painting and doing whatever you do. So call me on 201-790-3368. If you're a painter, sculptor, or candlestick maker, this is where you need to be. People buy from people they know. The best way for them to know you is with my kind of video interview. I'm at 201-790-3368. My name is Bill Like Clinton, Jordan Like Michael. Or go to R with Bill on Facebook. Check me out. Peace out. Bye-bye.